We back with another one. And unless you've been hiding up under a rock, you already know Diddy Cook, uh, fried, deep fried, all that. Um, Diddy put up $50 million and still got told, we not giving you no bond. Diddy is cooked, y'all. So, you know, I'm going to get into a lot of stuff in this video. Let's just get into it, man. They it's, it's crazy, man. So let's let's get into it. And we begin with that breaking news here at 6 today. A judge orders Sean Diddy Combs held without bail. He pleaded not guilty to racketeering, conspiracy, and sex trafficking charges Dang. following a bombshell indictment today. Alice Gaynor covers courts and joins us now live from Lower Manhattan with all the new details. Alice. Christine, Sean Diddy Combs himself entered the not guilty plea. He walked into the courtroom with a very serious expression. He scanned the room. He had about 12 family members and friends there to support him. Otherwise, the room was basically attorneys and members of the press. The two sides essentially litigated the case when they were making the argument for bail or no bail. Prosecutors say he's a flight risk. He's an extreme danger to the community. He's a serial abuser, they say, Damn. and a serial obstructor. His attorney argued that he had earned trust, earned the trust of the court and of the judge because he flew to New York in anticipation of being arrested and wanted to turn himself in. They also mentioned that he's in the process of trying to sell his plane. He handed over his passports to his attorneys, but the judge ruled he be held without bail. Sean Diddy Combs is accused of creating a criminal enterprise Damn, of using employees, resources, <laughs> and influence to Damn. allegedly carry out crimes including sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Damn. That employees like security staff, household Bro. staff, personal assistants. <laughs> Damn. I <laughs> no, come on, man. Who the artist in the courtroom, man? Hell no. <laughs> oh, bro. Diddy eyebrows don't never look like that, bro. Hell no, boy. Got his ass looking like a character off Tekken, goddammit. Like, let's get back to it. And high-ranking supervisors allegedly helped facilitate and cover up his abuse and sex escapades, never intervening. Other arrests could be coming. I'm not taking anything off the table. The previously reported Damn, March 2016 Los head, Angeles no Hotel head. video showing Diddy attacking then-girlfriend singer Cassie was referenced in the indictment. A member of the hotel security staff intervened, and Combs attempted to bribe the staff member with a stack of cash to make sure that what happened was kept quiet. The indictment alleges Diddy abused people for decades, Money and verbally, power. emotionally, physically, and sexually. He's accused of manipulating women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male commercial sex workers. These elaborate sex performances were referred to as freak-offs, which Combs is accused of arranging, directing, and recording. The freak-offs freak -offs. sometimes lasted days at a time, involved multiple commercial sex workers, and often involved a variety of narcotics. He's accused of sometimes giving people drugs like cocaine, oxycodone, and ketamine, to name a few, Dang. controlling their careers, using money and threats, allegedly to get what he wanted. Bad During boy, these so-called freak-offs and at other times, it's alleged he hit, kicked, and threw objects at and dragged victims. Some injuries took days or weeks to heal, and he allegedly used the recordings of them as collateral. In March 2024, during searches of his Miami and L.A. homes, law enforcement seized drugs and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant, guns, ammo. All right, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait one damn minute. Diddy, why the hell did you have 1,000 bottles of baby oil? <laughs> 1,000 bottles of baby oil? And that nigga thought he was that slick, God damn it. <laughs> hey, he said, hey, Diddy said, whatever go on, I'm sliding right up out this motherfucker. Like, he really thought he was that slick, nigga. Dude, or do you, you the reason why Johnson and Johnson couldn't keep that goddamn baby oil on the shelf. Nigga talking about it's the shortest thing. Diddy was buying all the baby oil, probably been buying all the baby oil for years. 
They just caught it at the end. His last stash, his last supply, nigga, the nigga is purchasing thousands and thousands and thousands of bottles of baby oil a year, nigga. You thought you was that slick? Damn, and all these guns? Come on, man. And three AR-15s with the serial numbers defaced. His attorney says they are not his guns. Why they ain't your career? Fighter. He's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent. We're appealing the, the, the decision to hold him without bail. <laughs> Combs faces a minimum of 15 years behind bars, up to life in prison if convicted Ew. of these three felony counts. His attorney says he is fighting the no bail ruling today. There is a bail appeal hearing scheduled for tomorrow, Christine. All right, some shocking allegations there, Alice. Thank you for that update. Diddy's legal troubles first picked up steam last year. He has faced a number of lawsuits since then, filed by Dang. an unnamed music producer to former college student Joy Dickerson, and most recently, one of the singers from the band Danity Kane, Don Richard. She waited now, the too late. The first lawsuit came in November of 2023 from Diddy's ex-girlfriend, singer Cassie, alleging years of abuse and rape. The two parties settled the next day. And then in March, federal agents raided his homes in Miami and L.A. In May, video surfaced showing Combs attacking Cassie in an L.A. hotel in 2016. He publicly apologized days later. In June, Combs returned his key to the city at the request of Mayor Adams. All of this now leading up to his arrest yesterday. Do stay with CBS News. Hey. Mayor Adams said, y'all won't have me in this shit. Hey, bring that key back, I.W. <laughs> Slick as hell, nigga. Mayor Adams probably done been at one of them baby oil shindigs, you feel me? Nigga, you been around there and thought he was slick. Like, hey, 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 hey. Diddy, I'm going to need that key back. You see what I'm saying? But, man, listen. It just went from bad to worse. Now, look. Imagine putting up. Fifty million dollars <laughs> and saying, Can I go home until you know <laughs> things start? And the judge was like, um, no, you're violent, you out here buying all the baby oil and shit. <laughs> the judge, the judge told me, no, like. You can't get out because you bought all the baby oil, nigga. Like, damn, like, yeah, you violent. Three ARs, all the serial numbers scratched off. Yeah, damn it. All type trafficking. They got him. They got Diddy looking like the drug dealer. He gave it to people. They ain't say nobody brought the drugs. They said he gave it to people, but we all know who the mule was or who, who the plug was. And yeah. Yeah, he gonna be in there telling because a lot of them been telling now already. And another thing people ain't talking about, Diddy phone was tapped. He was on the phones talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? They got, some of them had to be wearing wires because they got video footage of Diddy telling people to lie to the feds that was already working with the feds. He ain't even know it. Put up 50 million and can't go home. It's crazy. Niggas is sitting on a hundred dollar bonds right now and can't get out. Imagine you can't get out for a hundred dollars, but then a nigga put up 50 million and can't get out. Nigga, I ain't never going to New York. <laughs> no. You know my number one place. You know my number one place is Memphis, goddamn it. Cause no, nah, we, we ain't going to Memphis. If you want to know why, go look at my old videos. But Number two, New York. They don't play. So the same people, the same district that got rid of R. Kelly is finna, is finna do the same thing to Diddy. Wow. This is insane. Fighter. He's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent. Uh, he came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid. He's not afraid of the charges. There's nothing that the government said in their presentation today that changes anyone's mind about anything. He's been looking forward to this day. He's been looking forward to clearing his name, and he's going to clear his name. Uh, and we're going to stand by his side as, as he does. We believe in him wholeheartedly. Um, he didn't do these things. This was a 10-year relationship. There's no coercion. There's no crime. There's basically just uh, you know, so someone who brought a civil case and now uh, is, is finding themselves as a, a witness in a, in a criminal case.
and we're going to fight this case uh, with everything we have, as is he, and eventually he's going to be shown to be innocent. Um, and so tomorrow we fight again, and we fight, we'll fight every day until we don't have to fight anymore. Why did the arrest happen last night instead of today as planned? Uh, I, I don't know. I, the question is, why did it happen last night instead of today? I, I Right, you don't know a damn thing. Cause look, Diddy, I'm telling you right now, if that's the same lawyer that said you didn't do nothing to Cassie, fire that nigga. <laughs> no, you don't need him. You know why? Because what a lawyer should have told you was to shut the hell up. See, that's what you should have did, but you did. You been like, just because I settled, that don't mean I did anything. Boom, then the video dropped. You doing all type of combos and towels and you know what I'm saying? I thought it was rush hour at first. God damn I mean, this nigga running around with towels and shit. Looking like Chris Tucker and shit. I'm like, damn, this new rush hour movie, Chris Tucker getting down. Like, why he doing a girl like that? You feel me? But no, it was this nigga. Diddy. You should have shut the hell up. That's what, <laughs> that's what you should have did. Feds got your phone tapped. You talking crazy on the phone telling people to lie to the feds. People around you was wearing wires and had video cameras on. They got all the footage. You telling them to lie to the feds. Oh, man. Oh, man. And Stevie J been around this nigga every day since them houses got hit. Man, I'm telling y'all, man, I don't trust. I don't trust Stevie. Stevie dirty. Stevie probably already knew, like, Puff, I got to get over Puff. I got to get over Puff. That nigga been around that nigga every day since this happened. Could have been wearing a wire. I ain't putting nothing past nobody. I ain't saying Stevie J did, but at the same time, somebody did. They got phone conversations, videos, and all. Man, they got everything, man. Oh, they got the freak off tapes. As part of this investigation, in March of this year, special agents from HSI executed search warrants at Combs' residences in Miami and Los Angeles. They also executed a warrant for Combs' electronic devices. During those searches, agents seized evidence of the crimes charged in this indictment. They seized firearms and ammunition, including three defaced AR-15s and the large capacity drum magazine. They also seized evidence of the freak-offs, electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak-offs with multiple victims. And they seized cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs. It's part of this investigation. And wow. Mm, mm, mm. In late 2023, after public allegations were made about Combs' crimes, he and others pressured witnesses and victims to stay silent, including by making phone calls to witnesses and victims and giving them a false narrative of what they had experienced and as alleged combs used others to help conceal his as part of this investigation in late right, 2023 look. after public allegations i don't know why that was so shot but listen understand some imagine telling people to lie to the feds that's already working for the feds and you don't even know it nigga you done <laughs> i mean it's over with i mean and it's just a little bit y'all know it's more it's always more but i'm just saying that alone why would they help you why would they help you when you've been telling people, don't talk to them. Make sure y'all out of them. Hey, yo, Miami better run. Hey, Russell, go on here and send your Miami that Bally ticket. She gonna need it. She need to get the hell up out of it. Run, young Miami, run. Somebody get this video to a girl. You better run, cuz you definitely gonna get drug in on this. Diddy phone was tapped. You definitely probably called that phone. The freak offs is on tape. You definitely was on one of the freak offs. They still got your tweet when you ain't tape, but you you was tweeting about the freak offs. All this I like to get peed on. All this Diddy would have had old girl doing it. All right, all right. They coming to get you next. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they on the way. I understand you brought your show back and you spoke your truth, but man, I ain't trying to hear that. Then. He 
Diddy had coke, the pink powder cocaine or whatever that is they using, pink candy or whatever they call it, pink horse or whatever it is in the hotel room when they went to go lock them up. How in the hell? <laughs> You know the fact, because your lawyer study said he went to New York because he knew he was going to be arrested. Well, why he want to acting like it? And why do you niggas keep keeping evidence? You seen what happened with the R. Kelly in the tape situation? He went and made more tapes. Then, yeah, nigga, you feeling like R. Kelly. That's why y'all was doing music together. That's where you probably got it from, then. You making tapes too, nigga? Oh, man. But like I said, it's more. Get in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. It's your boy, Buddha. I'm going to leave on this note. But y'all, <laughs> oh, we got a lot more to talk about. I'm out.